Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to show you a little Git trick that I use to clean up merged branches so that you don't have, you know, a whole bunch of... <laughs> How many of you have like a hundred branches sitting in your Git repos that are just things you've worked on a long time ago? Um, but I've already merged. But anyway, let me show you how to do that today. Okay, so I have a clone of one of my repositories called PyUpgrade. Um, I only have one branch here that is, uh, you know, something that I've worked on in the past. Oh, let's actually, let's actually make a test branch that's something else. Git commit allow empty dash m foo. I don't know, let's say that I was working on this, but I hadn't merged this yet. Uh, so there's this cool uh, command flag that you can do to git branch. Uh, and what I usually suggest doing first is git pull, just to make sure that you're up to date on your, your latest branch. Uh, then you can do git branch dash dash merged. And this will show you all of the branches that are currently merged uh, into whatever branch you're at. And so these can all be safely deleted because these branches, you know, they're already integrated into your mainline branch. And so you don't need this, this uh, you know, cluttering up your branches selection here. Um, and so you can do something like git branch dash dash merge, uh, grep dash v, you know, the the branch you're currently on, uh, and then xargs replace, or xargs, what, git branch dash little d, uh, and that will delete all of all of those local branches. Now note this only works for local branches, uh, but you can also do git branch dash dash remote dash dash merged, and this will show you all of the branches that are on your remote repository that are merged. Uh, sorry, I fudged this earlier. Uh, so if this branch was on the remote, let's you know push up this old branch. And if you did git branch dash dash remote dash dash merged, uh, you'll now see that this branch is there. Oh, we should. Again, check out master. This merged is rel uh, relative to the branch that you're currently on, and so it's important to be on, on the proper ma uh, master branch when you're writing this. Uh, I think there's probably some option to make it relative to you know, the upstream branch, but you know, checking out master, checking out your main branch is, um, is helpful here. But yeah, you can see now that you have this branch here, and so if you wanted to delete that branch, you could do git branch dash dash remote dash dash merge, uh, grep dash v, I don't know, the arrow. You can grep dash v this, and then grep dash v master, and then xargs. Uh, well, then we probably need to sed <laughs> to remove origin slash uh, with, with nothing. And then xargs replace git push origin origin colon uh, branch, and this will delete uh, this this push will remove this branch. So colon branch as a push deletes the branch, and so you can see here that this will delete the six calls expert context branch on the remote. Um, I've batched this all up into a little script that I run myself. Python prune remote branches. So I have this prune remote branches script, which does largely the same thing as that. Um, it has a little bit of xargs. It also filters out some uh, particular branches that I like to keep around. Um, it also has a dry run option, so you don't you don't necessarily have to destroy branches. It will you know print them instead. Um, but yeah, it cleans up local and remote branches. Uh, and this brings me to my second point about this, which is why this came up at all on my stream in the first place. Um, and the question was, why don't you like squash merge? Or, or why don't you like rebase squash as a, as a merge strategy? And the reason I don't like rebase squash is it breaks dash dash merged. Uh, because rebase squash necessarily rewrites the history, the Git mechanisms that determine whether a branch is merged don't know that those alternate histories are actually the same and have actually been integrated. And so it's really hard to script knowing whether code has been integrated or not. Uh, whereas if you do a pure merge workflow, you can use tools like this to figure out whether something got merged. Um, but yeah, that's that's the, the primary reason. Also, you know, I picked one thing and I'm staying consistent to that. And so all of my, all of my repositories are set up in that particular way. But anyway, that's um, that's dash dash merged and how it's useful and how I use it all the time. Um, and hopefully you learned something from this. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.